Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. My guest today is Judy Robertson here to talk about the Helen Keller Lecture Series coming here at Troy University. Thank you for joining me here today. Yes, so, glad to be here. And uh, as I mentioned, the Helen Keller Lecture Series, this is an annual event uh, brought to the university named after one of the most famous Alabamians known worldwide for her disability and overcoming her disabilities to become once again, one of the most famous people to mm -hmm. in the Alabama and the United States. And that's what this series focuses on. Give us a little bit of details about the, about the background on this series. So. Well, basically with Helen Keller, what we want to do is we want to highlight those individuals who have experienced um, adversity and have experienced this disability, but yet have been able to overcome that and become successful, fruitful people in, in society. Um, so over the years, we've had a variety of speakers who have all demonstrated that that fire, that ability to persevere, to to be be them and mm -hmm. be successful in that. So. And uh, and this year is is uh, you know you've got a, a pair of speakers coming, mm -hmm. and uh, one of which is someone who is who has had to succeed, and the other is someone who helped him succeed. Mm -hmm. So tell us about about who we're who we're seeing this year. So, so this year we're bringing um, Cameron Stovall and Dr. Robert Morris. Cameron is a an individual who experienced an accident during a hunting excursion and uh, through that accident he lost his eyesight. Um, Dr. Robert Morris was the one who took on his case and was able to restore his eyesight to 10 percent through a series of surgeries. So we're going to we're going to look at the pair of them and how they work together to to bring Cameron where he is today. And uh, one of the things and you mentioned there earlier you talk about uh, people who have succeeded despite adversity in their lives. Mm -hmm. And I know in the past you've had a lot of people who have been disabled or dealt with the issues from an early age, mm -hmm. but this one seems like it's a little bit different in that regard. So. It is, it is. Typically, like I said, we, we highlight those people who have dealt with it all their lives, but this person um, really took um, a bad situation and made it good. And it's a person that we want to highlight them for their ability to come adversity after experiencing our world in their way, you know, with sight and all of that kind of stuff and, and then experience this accident to where it caused them to look at the world a different way. And through that, he was able to persevere and still be a successful human, um, even throughout all of that. So, so he had the opportunity to, to, to see someone who's been on both sides mm -hmm. and, and one, and you sit there and you say that he restored, you know, 10% of his eyesight mm -hmm. was restored. And one would be like, well, how much is that? But that's something he's able to to live a, a normal life like he was before the accident, right? So Correct. From what I understand, he, the only thing he can't do is drive. Everything does. Okay. I'm, I'm sure there's some adaptations mm -hmm. to some things, but um, as far for the most part, all he does he doesn't do is drive. So, <laughs> you know. And and that's one of those things that you. It's one of these success stories mm -hmm. that you see, and and I know. Uh, of, been to a number of the lectures in the past and mm -hmm. you see these people who who've come and persevered and and, and had these success stories but something like this just seems like it's one of those things that that folks can learn from despite mm -hmm. what their limitations are in life so right i think that this is an opportunity for us to learn you know we're not promised our eyesight our hearing or our physical abilities at any given time you know we we function every day at, as what we would call normal people. However, those things can be taken away from us very quickly and our ability to respond to that in a positive way, you know, we can very much learn from Cameron and Dr. Morris as to how to take a positive approach to that if that were to ever happen to us. So. And, and that's one of those things where, you know, a lot of people have come to these lectures and they see some of these individuals who were maybe born blind or mm -hmm. born hearing impaired and they're like, well, this can't really apply to me. But someone sitting in this audience at this lecture, uh, accidents happen Definitely. and it could end up being them in this situation. Definitely. And that's and that may be one of the, the best lessons to learn from this. I, I agree with you 100 percent. And so now for anyone here who is interested in taking part <laughs> in this lecture and mm -hmm. listening to this lecture and listening to the story, when and where? Uh, they can join us in the Trojan Center Theater on Wednesday, April the 25th at 10 o'clock in the morning. All right. And uh, I assume free, oh, yes. uh, free, free and open free to the public. Yes. So anyone mm -hmm. can come and, and check it out and be a part of, of this ongoing lecture series mm -hmm. and opportunity to, to hear these stories. And, and obviously, it, before we go, what do you hope that people will be able to take away from this? Um, really and truly, I just want people to take away um, an awareness for disability and awareness for the, the fact that people operate 
with a variety of abilities and that no matter what their ability is, they can still be successful in that right. So I hope that people can come and see that and, and, and gain a new respect for people with disabilities and also that awareness. Well, here's hoping that uh, folks take advantage of that opportunity and yes. listen to this pair of speakers to tell what sounds to be an inspiring story. Thanks for yes, joining us thank today. Thank you, no problem. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.